All right, everyone, class is in session. And if you've just gotten your hands on the new Bravia Theater Bar 8, Bar 9, or like me, the Quad, then you're in the right place. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to set it up using the brand new Bravia Connect app. So let's jump right in. Once your device is powered on and ready to connect, you'll need to connect your smartphone or tablet to your home Wi-Fi network. Open the App Store or Google Play Store and search for Bravia Connect, and then of course, install it. Now, if you already have the app, you must update it in order for it to work with these new products. Now, as for my pro tip, I actually prefer to uninstall old apps and reinstall them to make sure I have the fresh and latest update. Now, if this is the first time using Bravia Connect, then you must agree to the end user license and privacy policy. Once you've passed all of those pages, the app will begin to search, if you allow it, to find nearby devices. This is also where you'll sign in. You see, signing in lets you register your device to your account, something I highly recommend. Once it finds the device or devices, you can select the one you wanna set up. In this case, I'll be setting up the Bravia Theater Quad. It will quickly download the data needed for the device and then take you back to the connection page. This is where you can turn on location services and connect to your Wi-Fi by entering your Wi-Fi password. After a short wait, the device will indicate that it is connected and begin the network setup process. This includes registering your device to your account. Once complete, select next, then agree or disagree with the data use policy and then continue. If an update is available for your device, it will be downloaded and you'll be asked to go ahead and turn on auto update. I highly recommend enabling this feature to make sure that your product always operates at its absolute best. You'll have a few more screens to go through, so go ahead and get to the device name. Use one of the selections or even name it yourself in the space provided. Next, you'll set up the device for your listening environment, which changes based upon the device you're connecting to or what accessories you add, like a subwoofer or even rear speakers. You will get instructions on pairing the accessories once they are connected and you can also set the distances. If the accessory device requires an update, well, that'll happen here as well. Once you've set it up for listening, it's now time to optimize based upon your room. You wanna select prepare for optimization to start this process and then wait for the measurements. You'll be prompted to use your smartphone or tablet microphone to assist with the measurements. So make sure you allow that. It will also ask you to rotate your device to continue the measurements as most mics are at the bottom of the smartphone. Pro tip, take off your case if you have it on. Once that's all done, you can treat yourself to an impressive 360 degree spatial sound mapping demo track. Proceed, and then you'll be notified that your setup is complete. You can now use the app for all functionalities, such as increasing the volume, switching inputs, accessing the menu, and adjusting the EQ. And that's it. Your new Sony theater product is all set up to let you enjoy your favorite movies and music. Go ahead and experiment with the settings and find the best sound for your space. And as always, thanks for watching.